Well, the Rickson siblings have certainly been enjoying a lot of success of late on the east coast of Australia. Will campaigning with Ricky Elchin in Queensland has been driving his share of winners. Alan, since making the move to Victoria, has been in the winner's circle on a couple of occasions. And Hannah has certainly been productive here in New South Wales. Has got some nice drives at Club and Angle on Tuesday afternoon. I caught up with her to discuss those chances. Well, Hannah, there's a couple of nice chances. When the fields came out for race five, you were down to drive three of them. You've elected to abandon Dad with Beauty Play and stick with Kabibi. Yeah, um, ended up going to go with Kabibi. She, um, I've only driven her once in a race and she ran a real good second in, a, I think it was a group three. So, um, yeah, I was excited to get back on her. Um, Beauty Play, she's like a real nice filly, but she's sort of three-year-old stepping up in grade a bit and... Um, Jack drove her uh, two starts ago and she won on him, a uh, one on her, sorry. So, um, yeah, we just put him back on made it simple. Yeah, so Jack Callaghan drives beauty play. Very good second at Penrith last Thursday. Yep, she went really well. Um, she just did, she got crossed out of the gate and that probably just cost her. Um, it, he sort of walked out in front and made it hard for her. But, yeah, she went really well. She's pretty consistent, so... Kabibi, on the other hand, finished seventh behind Heaven Island last time out. Only two and a quarter metres from the winner. Had no luck. Yeah, she's been racing really well. Um, she's pretty consistent. So, um, yeah, she was a little bit unlucky last start, James said. So, um, yeah, looking forward to driving her on Tuesday. She's been very consistent, but she does seem to be unlucky on numerous occasions. Yeah, um, she has been lately. But, um, yeah, she's got a good little sprint on her and um, she can do it tough too if she needs to. But, um, yeah, she's just a nice little horse. Talking about doing a tough, Ed Mendez, race six, number two, did a tough last time out. Yeah, he tends to get left out in the breeze a lot, but um, yeah, he's really consistent. He, his form's really good. He's sort of always sort of there in the money. So um, yeah, looking forward to driving him again on Tuesday and um, hopefully, you know, hopefully look for some cover with him and um, hopefully he runs home well. He certainly battled on very well over the final stages, finished third behind, watch me dazzle. Yeah, he's um, sort of like can race tough like that and um, a few starts ago he could come from near last and came into second. So, um, yeah, probably hope to use his speed a bit more like going forward. But, um, yeah, he is versatile, so it's good. A bit like Bibby, he's deserving of a win. Six starts this season, five placings. Yeah, he's definitely knocking on the door. He um, That one start where he missed a place, he was super unlucky. Um, he didn't really get a run, so... Um, yeah, he's definitely knocking on the door and hopefully he'll get a win soon. Over to race seven, draw nicely here with Arden's ace in three for Tony Burt Whistle. Yep, um, I've only driven him once before a few weeks ago and he, he was unlucky then as well. So, um, yeah, he's drawn nice and handy in three, I think, and uh, he's got gate speed and that, so we've got a few options and, yeah, I'm sure he'll go well. Yeah, it's an open contest. He's coming off a third, only four and a half metres from Johnson's step. Yep, uh, that was his last start, so um, I drove him two starts before that here um, at Menangle, and um, yeah, he's a nice horse, so looking forward to driving him. You've got to go back to November for Owen's ace last win, and on that particular occasion, he beat Better Eclipse, which has just gone from strength to strength ever since then. There you go, I didn't know that, so um, yeah, it seems like a long time between wins, but um, he's racing well, so it's promising. And what would be the best of them? Um, I think... Oh, it's maybe Kabibi, I'm not too sure. Maybe Ed. Uh, yeah, they're probably all sort of half a hope. So, um, yeah, I'm not too sure actually. But, um, yeah, I think Ed sort of, he's always in the money somewhere and he just needs a bit of luck somewhere and he um, should be in the finish. But. Hannah, Ellen's move to head to Victoria is certainly paying dividends. She's certainly going well. Yeah, she's driving a lot more down there. I think she's really enjoying it. So, um, yeah, it's down there in the cold. But, yeah, it's working out good for her. Well, it's cold enough up here, so hopefully <laughs> going down to Victoria, yes, it would be a little bit more colder. Yeah, definitely, and uh, Will's up in Queensland enjoying the sun, so, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mum and Dad must be pleased with the way the trio were performing. Yeah, definitely. Um, Will's had a good run up in Queensland. I think he said the other day he's had 10 wins since he's been up there, so um, that's been good, and our team sort of down here, they're all racing competitively, so, um, yeah, happy. It must be good on Tuesday in particular, Hannah, when you see Auntie Anne always here, giving you always plenty of support. Yeah, she's here every Tuesday, so um, yeah, I always see her here on a Tuesday, and um, yeah, she's always happy to see me. <laughs> That's wonderful the way she takes an interest in all the Rickson and Turnbull siblings. Yeah, definitely. Um, been lucky enough, we've sort of been close to her um, our whole lives, and um, yeah, she's never been far away, so definitely enjoy her support. Hannah, thanks very much, and good luck on Tuesday. Thank you.